This is Pride Good Radio. afternoon. You've arrived. We have arrived. So I have a question. Yes. What makes you happy? Being pink and being out here and sharing love. Yes, I love That is the most important thing. Standing here with Randall Roper, President and CEO, yes? Yes, of Akaya. And uh, we are out in front of the post office, world famous post office here in P Town. So, Randall, thank you so much for taking a minute with us. We are honored to be on the inaugural cruise with you. We're loving it. And uh, our mantra in life is happiness is a lifestyle. So, we're going to put you on the spot. All right. What's one thing that makes you the most happy in life? I'm a traveler, so anytime I get to experience a new place, uh, I'm just ecstatic. And frankly, I'm counting P-Town among those new places because it's been almost 20 years since I was last here. Wow, okay. it, it's all very familiar, of course, right. but uh, just being back here has been an extraordinarily happy morning. Understand, so, understand. We are the world's first and only large-scale vacation company that is built to cater to the entire LGBTQIAPK community. Right. So we're charting a new course and diversity and inclusion, so it's very, very exciting. It's amazing, and as a passenger on board, we can definitely say the diversity on the ship is lovely. It is yeah. one of the finest group of people, men, women, non-binary right. folks, transgender, that I've ever been involved yeah. with. And it's only, you know, everyone says, this is diverse enough. No, it's never diverse enough, right? It's a moving target, so we will continue to grow more and more diverse as more and more people hear about us and, and, and the stories are told, um, and we can't wait. We yeah, can't exactly. Wait. So what's the one thing you would say to that person out there watching our vlog who's questioning, do I really want to go on an LGBT cruise? Hold on one sec. <laughs> the town crier is going out of control, folks. <laughs> He's really crying. Perfect. He is amazing. That makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> makes me so happy. So back to that. So the yeah. one bit of advice you or or that one person who's saying, gosh, I've never been on a gay cruise. Sure. I'm a little nervous. I've heard stories. Yeah. I don't know if it's for me. What would you say to that? Well, person? let's start with it is what you make it. We create an environment where everyone is welcome, where exactly. everyone can feel comfortable in their own skin, no matter whether you're an L, a G, a B, a T, or any of the letters, black, white, bad, skinny, doesn't matter. Right. We, we try to create a, a very positive, uh, body positive, and yeah. gender positive, and sexuality positive experience where everyone can come together and yeah. just be happy. Absolutely, and that's why we're on board, folks. And if you ever get a chance, <laughs> We encourage you to go to the website, myvakaya.com. That's right. And there's tons and tons of cool things they're doing. They got a big event coming up in Mexico. Yeah, in just a few months. So yeah. that, that's, can I talk about yeah, that? Yeah, please do. Yeah. yeah, so uh, it's all inclusive. World class food, top shelf drinks, but also spa, salon, golf, scuba, excursions, Amazing. all included. So they are really re rewriting the playbook right. as far as all inclusive resorts are going. And it's actually part of the leading hotels of the world. Uh, and it's the only all inclusive resort in their entire portfolio of, uh, of property. So it's really exciting. And we're going to be there over Halloween and Day of the Dead. Which in is Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, oh, in yeah, Mexico. 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 And if you've never, <laughs> listen, we, Juan Carlos and I, we travel to the Yucatan Peninsula a couple times a year. Yeah. We have a place there. Absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. So, it's yeah, incredible. check it out because that place is amazing. Uh, and then you, one more thing, you've got the Iceland cruise next year. We do, next summer. So yeah. summer in Iceland, that's going to be August 30th through September 6th, 2020. So if you're looking for literally the adventure of a lifetime. We're going to be circumnavigating Iceland, starting and ending in Reykjavik, and we're going all the way around above the Arctic Circle. Amazing. In That's the amazing. middle of the summer, we're going to have 23 and a half hours of daylight when we're above the Arctic Circle, which is an extraordinary experience. So you everybody can get that happen. tan and the That's ice. right. Yeah. Literally at 3 a.m. you can yeah, get yeah. a tan. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so yeah, there you, you heard it from Randall, folks. The Bakaya is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's been a great week, hasn't it's, it? It's been unbelievable. <laughs> Let me tell you, every single day on this trip, we've had a moment of 
sheer joy, sheer happiness, Absolutely. and uh, we've met some amazing people, and I think that's what it's about. Thank you. Yeah. Lifetime. You, you guys are chief among them. You guys oh, are really, thank, you. Really awesome. thank you. Thanks I'm for so including us, you. and uh, as we always say, happiness, happiness is, is a lifestyle. lifestyle. Randall, thank you so much. Of course, thank my you. pleasure. And continued success with Vakaya. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All right, so we're now standing in the heart of P-Town. We're on the main street. Uh, with all the shops, restaurants, etc. We're going to take a little tour around. We're going to go find a little place to have some breakfast this morning. Yeah. And uh, we'll show you all the sights, sounds, and goodness of P-Town. So we are inside the post office. And we have to tell you we are actually guided here. By a divine intervention by none other than our dear friend who just departed, Chris Francis. Let me drown in your laughter Let me die in your arms Let me lay down beside you Let me always be with you Come, let me love you Come on <laughs> Our entire day here in P-Town is going to be dedicated to him. I'm going to try not to get emotional. Um, this was Chris's home bar. This is where he was supposed to be performing while we were here this week. And uh, he's definitely missed. But we got off the ship. Randall Roper was standing out here, we wanted to talk with him, and it just so happened that we were in front of the post office. And the only table available in the entire restaurant was right here, next to the tribute that they put together for Chris. So, I don't believe in coincidences, I believe 100% he's with us right now, and he's having a big laugh. He's like, ha ha ha, I gotcha. So, uh, yeah, but we're excited to be here in P-Town, and uh, it's a nice honor to be sitting at this table and this beautiful tribute that they did for Chris and all the years that he performed here. Okay, so usually we show the food and we talk about the food and all that good stuff, but we got a little distracted. So Juan Carlos ordered the uh, French toast and I ordered a uh, spinach and cheese and mushroom omelet. And let me tell you folks, the food here is really good. If you find yourself in P-Town, come to the post office, great breakfast. Yum, yum, yum. And directly behind us is what's called the lobster pot. And as you can see, there's already a long line. It's only 11.30 in the morning, and there's a line of people. It's a very famous place to get great lobster, lobster rolls, etc. So uh, looks like you need to get here early, folks, if you want that, especially on a busy period of time. Yeah, like today. Yeah, <laughs> It's going to be busy here in town today for sure. So check this out, folks, directly behind us. This is the P-Town Tourism Office. We're going to go inside. This is the place you can come and find out what's going on in town. And we're going to go check it out because, I mean, look at the beauty of this old building too. Isn't that cool? I like it. So basically when you come in here for the tourism, you're going to see pretty much all around this one room. You've got brochures, everything from whale watching to all of the nightclubs in town to what's happening show-wise, etc. So it's a great little place to come if you're trying to figure out what you want to do while you're in P-Town. You can pick up all of your brochures here for everything and anything that's happening in and around this beautiful, beautiful little harbor town. So what do we find, Juan Carlos? Christmas ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and as you know, every town we go to and all of our travels, we pick up an ornament to bring back to our Costa Rican Christmas tree. So we're gonna go find something in here, hopefully with P-Town on it. Oh, yes. And then I also noticed they have Christopher Radko ornaments, which is our tree in Fort Lauderdale. So we might find an ornament for that one. P-Town Cruise, which would be kind of cool P -town, for this for a couple next couple days because we have a cruise ship in right now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I yeah. got all of them. Really? <laughs> so that's P-Town Cruise. P-Town, 
Monty's. All the rest of these ornaments on the tree are charity pieces that Radco does every year for breast cancer, right. AIDS research, um, autism, Alzheimer's, first responders. Yeah. So if you like any of these, let me know. I have most of them in the back. I'll do the P-Town Cruise for sure. Check it out, everyone. The flag is flying behind our head out there in the distance. It's our ship. Is our ship. She is uh, anchored offshore, not too far. It's about a 20 minute tender ride to get over here to P-Town. Absolutely gorgeous day today, mid 70s, very, very minimal humidity. Nice breeze, as you can see from the flag. What an amazing, amazing day we're having here in P-Town. It's a yeah, very amazing, yeah. beautiful day. I'm excited about this whole entire trip, but uh, this is culminating to be beyond what I expected for sure. So yeah, certainly happy. Very our good. mantra, our mantra works. It does, it does. people. <laughs> Check out this little place directly behind us, little coffee shop, little sundry shop. Love. They got a great little marquee up there that says, Love yeah. in Happiness. Else. That works for our mantra, doesn't it? Yep. Yes. yes. We're in love. We're happy. I love it. All right, so we're meeting up with some friends, Shannon and Bryce from the ship, and our friends Kevin and Anthony that actually live here in P-Town. We're going to meet them at Aqua Bar. Yeah, here right on the bay with our ship in the distance. So let's see if we can find them. All right, we found everybody. Say hi. Hi. It helps to have friends that live in P-Town. Knowledge is power. <laughs> Anthony is. You gotta have a little to show you around. Anthony's a man. Jordan's Pizza is also a great place. A lot of people sit back and they say, okay, Spiritus Pizza is a place to go. Right. Jordan's Pizza has great pizza. They have a bar inside too. Spiritus does not have a bar. You can drink it at Jordan's. Yeah. Right. Spiritus, you, you gotta eat it on the street. Right. Mouthwatering Fudge, one of the oldest uh, operating fudge factories here. Very cool. On the Cape, which is amazing. Yum. Yum. We like exactly. the fudge. Exactly. Love the fudge. Some of us more than others. Uh -huh. Exactly. So people literally, they'll come here on the weekends. It's a very family-oriented kind of town. They'll have the theme weeks, but then on the weekends, it's a great place for people to bring their families in. You'll see people growing up with really everything, gay, straight, otherwise, whatever. They're like, oh, I used to go to P-Town every single weekend in, in the summer. Right. Like, what? Families would love to bring their awesome. kids here. Portuguese malasada. So in here, the Portuguese bakery, there's something the Portuguese know as malasada. So Portuguese is the number one ethnicity of Protestant. Okay, the big giant Portuguese festival. It's the last weekend of June every year. And so the Portuguese bakery is where everyone comes from Malasa. It's just basically fried dough with sugar on top. It's amazing. Great places to eat are the lobster pot. You can see oh, yeah. it from here. We've already talked about that's famous. Do you guys love pot lobster? Oh, that's yeah. a great place to go. I don't eat seafood, but people rave, rant, go crazy about it. Yeah, there was it. a line out the door this morning at exactly. 10 a.m. And then right here on the corner store, you see Lewis Brothers, uh -huh. number one place to get ice cream in the town. Okay, perfect. Amazing. It's homemade, handmade, right there in front of you as you're doing it. And they have like 13, 14 people just working back there. And there's always a line outside of this store. We love right. some ice cream. Ice, ice cream the best. <laughs> so you'll find other stores within Provincetown that sell Lewis Brothers ice cream, but this is where they actually make it. You heard it there, folks. In Lewis Brothers, store. best in town. Homemade Anthony ice knows. Cream. He's Absolutely. been living here since 2008. He knows. Over here, wait, over here. Over here. One of the entranceways to the piers. So when you guys take your tenders and stuff like that, you'll be coming over here. Yep. Right there is something called the coffee pot. Great place for breakfast and lunch. Here is a great area for like lunch and uh, types of things. People have like, okay, I want seafood, I want burgers, I want whatever. Here is where you get all, all that stuff right here. Perfect. Okay, so for sure, if you find yourself in P-Town, check out this store called Mate. They have really, really creative, interesting, fun t-shirts. We're loving it. I'm going to pick up, especially this one. There's something about a bear eating an ice cream cone. Gotta love it. Right, Wonky? Isn't it cute in here? It's very cute. Look at this mermaid. Yeah, for sure. Check this place out. Provincetown, summer 2019. So we're back on the tender, making our way back to the ship. We're going to relax for a little bit and then head back over here for tea dance later. Yep. What do you think of P-Town, first time here? I love it. Yeah. yeah it's a cute little town.
Directly behind us is our ship, the Celebrity Summit. We're on board our second tender of the day. As you know, we started the morning really early with all the Vakayans and did the celebration uh, on the beach with the rainbow flag. Which Had was a, fantastic. It was an amazing time, yep, for sure. But what an amazing day we have had so far. Uh, so we're going back in town to meet up with our friends. We're going to go to the tea dance. And then we're going to dinner with everybody. And then, uh, not sure what other shenanigans we'll get into, but we're going to continue exploring P-Town. Um, the nice thing is, is we're overnight here. This is the first in the history, really not only for LGBT cruises, but this is the first large cruise ship to ever overnight in Provincetown. And that's another history making moment. So it's pretty cool that we're part of that. Uh, and I'm excited that we get to share this with all of you out there watching us uh, on our wonderful adventure. Yeah. yeah. Anything you want to say to everybody? You should come visit. <laughs> you should, yeah, definitely come to P-Town. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous town. All right, we'll see you when we get there. Ah! All right, everyone, we are at the boat slip in P-Town, having a good time. Bryce is having a cocktail. Right, a real right. moment. <laughs> it's a good time. Cheers. 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 Thank you guys for hosting Hola. us in your beautiful town. Aw, oh, thank you for town. So There's a lot happening. Cheers. Good time. Beautiful. And it's a show about sexuality in the air. And um, it's not vulgar, it's very classy. Gorgeous. What's that noise? Joy of joys. It's a girl group made of boys. We're trampoline a weenie. And tricks. We're the Kinsey Six. Yeah. What makes you happy? Oh, love makes me happy. Yeah, that makes you happy. People coming to see our show at the art house. What she said at 9:30 tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sales, uh, which is an Italian restaurant in this yes. beautiful old house right on the harbor. And we're going to have a beautiful meal with good friends tonight. And uh, yeah. And they gave us free rosé just for coming. And when he says free, we're going to be you had We like some free rosé. <laughs> oh, there might Don't be. Don't keep filling it up, too. <laughs> So everyone, we just finished dinner here at this wonderful Italian restaurant called Sal's. Um, we'll go ahead and apologize to you for not showing you any of our meal, but sometimes when you're with friends and the conversation gets going, you just want to spend time with your friends. And, and keep it a little personal. Moment. Yeah, so we were enjoying the moment. It's something we encourage you to do as well. Even though we're vloggers and we're here on YouTube, we don't always have to share every single thing. <laughs> exactly. We had an amazing dinner, suffice to say. And if you come to P-Town, find Sal's. It's good, right? It's very good, yeah. And bring some good friends with you, like we did, anyway. All right, we're going to head back to the ship here shortly, but uh, wow, what a day in P-Town, yeah? It's, it was fantastic, and I'm looking forward to for tomorrow. Already. Yeah, yeah, we got another whole day here tomorrow, folks. Exciting. All right, peace out for now. So before we go back to the ship, what are we doing? Getting coffee and ice cream. Coffee and ice cream. This place is so cool. You know, everything in P-Town is cool. It's just cool. Yep. It is.